This video continues the first on the uh, homework problems and in the first homework problems we were doing uh, a name given the structure. So we did these two guys here. Now in this one I've already started writing down what we were given and what we were given was the standard name for this particular compound and so I've written down here that that's the given name. Now when you're doing the structure from the name, the easiest thing to do is start with the longest chain and draw that first. So that's what I've done right here. This is decane, so there should be 10 carbons in the chain. Now, let's do the methyls. On, uh, and you notice I numbered the chain from left to right. I could have numbered it 1 here up to 10 here, but you know, to make things as easy as possible for myself, I want to do something that I feel real comfortable with, and that puts one right here. So, this tells me I've got methyls, which is one carbon only, on number two and three. So, all I have to do is draw one carbon on two and another carbon on three. And that takes care of my two methyl substituents. As you see, this is pretty easy. Now, I have a propyl on number 5. So a propyl is 3 carbons, and I got a little too close here, so I'm going to have to write the carbon sideways. And it doesn't really matter whether you write them going up, left, or to the right. So I'm, propyl is 3 carbons, so that's 1, 2, 3 carbons. And now you can see as I zoom in here that we have methyl, methyl, and a propyl. So this is 2,3-dimethyl. This is my 5-propyl, and then the longest chain is 10. And so we're in business. I hope this gets you going, and good luck with the rest of the homework. Good night.